cover letters are stupid and should stop being expected. May or may not be an unpopular opinion generally, but it's one in my circle for sure. I just think that a resume, a good one anyway, will speak for itself. You will know immediately upon interviewing if the person is being honest and or actually interested in the position. With quick phone virtual initial interviews becoming more normal, there's literally no reason to make me write a cover letter explaining the same stuff I'll say in the interview. Especially because everyone just copies and pastes the same stuff for every job they apply for. And I always used to love handing my resume with all my work history on it to places only for them to make me fill out a 15-page pamphlet with exactly the same information. Please write some fan fiction about how much you'll overextend and exhaust yourself for this firm. The good news is you can do cover letters with ChatGPT now. This should be the default opinion. I fucking hated cover letters. Nearly every application needs a cover letter, or rather should have one. Some you can copy-paste, some need to be adjusted a bit per company. Glad I don't expect to be looking for another job anytime soon. Hopefully ever lol. I mostly agree. The only thing a cover letter does is prove to the company that you are capable of constructing proper sentences and paragraphs communicating efficiently. A lot of jobs have more writing than one would think, so having a cover letter as a buffer can help weed out the people who never learn to write coherently and professionally. That said, there are always people, businesses, resources, etc. out there that help people with cover letters and will disguise a poor writer communicator. It's always struck me as an archaic practice that no one ever thought to get rid of because a we've always had that which seems to be the ground into which people dig their heels it's always been this way. Cover letters are bullshit and places that have you upload your resume only to have to manually input all the same goddamn information into the application can eat the biggest wiener. Just the biggest. I stopped doing them a decade ago, my resume is more than enough these days and if it's not then I probably wouldn't work for you. As a hiring manager, I don't give a crap about a good cover letter. I do give a crap about a bad one, though. My dad works in hiring and he said that cover letters are rarely looked at, just used to weed out people too lazy to write one. I switch jobs every one two years but can't remember the last time I wrote a cover letter. Once I was five or so years into my career people stopped asking. Not unpopular. Indentured servitude fan fictions. I hate sending a resume only to then fill out application. All the info is in my resume I'm basically copy and pasting lol. If it helps, I have a standard one where I just change out the position and company I apply for, saves me from having to write a new one for every single job I apply for. Other than that, I completely agree, cover letters are outdated and employers should stop requiring them. Just stop writing them. I stopped a while ago. Nobody reads them anyway. As someone who hires interns, I don't read a single one of them. They are just filled with useless crap. The university I work for requires people to submit it, so unfortunately I get them, and don't read them. And I don't feel bad about it. If they want a cover letter I don't apply. They are fucking dumb. It's basically we see you're applying for a position with our company. You've sent us a resume with all of your qualifications but before we read that, we need you to write us a personal letter detailing why we should even look at your qualifications, and if you don't write it good enough we still won't look at them anyways. I love cover letters. On my resume you see I'm a hairdresser who's worked at the same job for six years, in my cover letter you hear that I'm a student studying engineering and how I found myself on that path. Cover letters are the only reason I get an interview. For any entry level or retail warehouse sort of job then yes, absolutely unnecessary. Especially if your main employee base is like, 16-18 year olds. If it's for some fancy office job, tech, higher level or manager type position, it should still be a thing especially if it's competitive. I go through applications all day. Most people don't use them. As a hiring manager, you're exactly right. I just scan through the resume to tell if they are bullshitting or not. 
I feel like the cover letter should be the thing and the resume is the dumb thing. I do hiring for my company and if applicants sending cover letters their application gets added to the maybe pile which really turns out to be the no pile. All I want to see if previous work history and I don't have time to flip through cover letters conveying why someone is dreaming to work for our company we all know they say it to every potential employer. Interesting I just saw a post from a recruiter saying don't do them unless they are mandatory. I never do them they are always so cheesy sounding. Just worry about your resume. Here's my resume, twice. I absolutely agree. Obviously if we apply, it's because we need the job. It's a waste of time and stupid to have to write a cover letter. It's 2023, can we please stop having to include cover letters? You may have a point, but the purpose of cover letters is to filter the ones you're looking for, firstly. Secondly to provide a baseline for any future interviews. Yes I have had people who exaggerated or plain lied in their cover letter, but it made my job easier this guy lied about his CV, what else is he capable of lying of? What did this person exaggerate about and would they be able to close the gap when needed? I'm a hiring manager. I have zero desire to read cover letters. That's very much going to depend on the sort of position work. I've helped with selecting people for several PhD postdoc positions at my lab, and for that the cover letter is at least as important as the resume. If it's not there, or just an obvious copy-paste job, that's just going to be an immediate no. Dot. I hate the reference check too. I get the idea of it, but chances are your current employer don't even know that you're planning on quitting or worse you're in a bad terms with them. Why would I want you to call them and ask about me? Agreed, especially when they are all PDF anyway. If you can't take the time to read my resume, I don't want to work for you. It's like that thing you write for college where you write out your trauma so the school can decide if you're traumatized enough to slip you a scholarship. I feel like realistically, cover letters should be requested if you make the first couple of rounds of cuts with applications. The company I work for had to hire for one position a few years ago and we tend to pay well and keep people around for decades. In the first few days, there were thousands of applications and I was trying to sort through them all. I eventually had a list of 25 top ones I sent to my bosses, of those 25 it could have made sense to have a cover letter. The cover letters from the other 2000 were never even looked at. Agree. It only makes sense with jobs looking for a high level of experience, or C-level type positions where they had diverse responsibilities throughout their career and explanation leading up to why they are good for the role. But if you're just an entry level, same industry, or similar role, it's dumb. They'll be redundant soon enough, you can just copy and paste a job description into an AI now and they will write the letter for you. I want to know if the person I'm considering for a job can write a letter. Part of a job is communication and putting on a smile even if you're in a bad mood. If you don't include a cover letter your application goes in the trash and you won't even make it to the interview. Sorry. Cover letters are about contextualizing your CV for the job you're applying for e.g. My four years pushing bath salts on the dark web puts me in a unique position to be an effective goop salesperson. If the only reasons you want would be good for a job are clear on your CV, then either your CV is shit or you probably aren't that well suited for the role maybe even both. This obviously doesn't apply to every job in the world. If you were a recruiter, you probably want a cover letter to spoon feed you the info you want before even getting to the interview. I did proofreading as a side job in uni a while back, going through piles and piles of the same thing is hard. I had no clue they still were. I have literally never used one. Usually it's just labeled as optional. Recruiter here, I never read them. I go through hundreds of CV per day, I don't have time to read your cover letters. Just write me one nice paragraph about why you're applying for the position, and if your profile matches the job description, then tell me everything during our interview. Most of the job's placements are based on your reference anyways. I don't mind cover letters that much. Job openings without a salary range mentioned though.